just want to preface to say that there is no perfect curriculum. There is no perfect resource. You just use what works best for you and you can skip over things that don't work best for you and all is okay. I just got something from Honest History and I wanted to open it up and share with you what I ordered. So if you're unfamiliar with Honest History, it is a quarterly children's history magazine subscription and you don't have to have a subscription. You could just order the magazines a la carte or as in, in a group. I order three at a time here. We have three different magazines. Issue 17, The Age of Legends. Fall 2022 is when it came out. And you learn a little about Greeks, which is great because my son is actually rereading the Percy Jackson series. He's on the second series of books, The Heroes of Olympus, I think. So he would really like this. So in this issue, we have Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Welcome to Greece. You probably didn't know, people we should know. Art in Ancient Greece, The Amazing Woman of Ancient Greece. Gods Among Men, that's their future story. Words We Should Learn, Entering the Stage, A Season of War, Alexander the Great, Interview with a Classical Archaeologist in the Hunt for Troy. And when I'm done sharing what's inside my magazine or magazines, I will hop on to the internet and share with you their website and how you can utilize that as well. But I love it. It's, it's quality. It's printed on quality paper. It has, you know, engaging information for kids. Um, and it's accurate as far as I can tell. Does it go into super detailed depth? No, it's a magazine. If you wanna go into depth on a topic, go find yourself a PhD that studied on that one tiny specific area that you wanna go in depth into. I'm sure they wrote a paper about it. And so this is just a great supplement to whatever history that you're learning because, you know, sometimes books are long and we want to read a magazine, you know, give us the Reader's Digest version of it and that's okay. I'll be honest here, even though we do like literature-based history, sometimes when we are reading the books either in Story of the World or History Quest, to be honest, my kids, aren't really into those stories. <laughs> they prefer other types of historical fiction, not that, not those. Magazines are great and they're easy to read and they're fun and easily portable. Take them on road trips or, or drives here and there. You can do your road schooling as they call it. We have an interview. So these are magazines that you keep. They're not like thin throwaway kind of magazines. So The Hunt for Troy. In case you missed it, we have a, a timeline of events that um, the magazine went over. Thinking it over, we have discussion questions, we have a quiz, word search, a maze, and then next we have a magnificent rain. I can see easily see how I can pair like the next time we get like a universal yums box about turkey I could pull this out from our library you know so I, I love that these magazines can be kept it can, I can easily find it because as you can see the binding here Next one is A Land Called Oz. So we're talking about Australia now. And the thing I like about Honest History is that they share like the main facts, but they also like get you to learn more about people that aren't always represented in history, like women or people of color, etc. So I appreciate that.
know, learning about things in history that we don't always learn. And it's really important to know because every, all of it is our history. You know, everyone's experiences is part of our history. One of my YouTube subscribers is from Australia and she was talking about how she takes her kids to like the caves to go see, you know, Australia's oldest art. She shows them the petroglyphs, which I think is really awesome to be able to do that. I want to go visit Australia. One of my exchange students from when I was a kid is from Australia and I'd love to go visit her as well. <laughs> it's like on my bucket list, Australia. So I need to make it happen. So I do have several more of these magazines. Found them. <laughs> we have The Way of the Samurai, A Native Story, A Russian Winter, The Golden Rule, Special Deliveries, one's about the post office, A Portrait of India, Journey Through the Jungle. I really love these magazines. I think they're a great addition to your homeschool library. I know there's some people out there that have issue for whatever reason with Honest History, but I don't think you can go wrong about it. I do have a link down below if you want to check out Honest History for yourself. Like I said, you don't have to do this subscription and Let's hop onto the computer real quick. All right, so I am on the website right now. So we look at the top, you see they have a shop, you have magazines, books, bundles, apparel and goods. They have a podcast, a blog, and then of course, learn more about them. So you see information about it. It's geared towards six to 12 year olds, but like preteens and teenagers would enjoy it as well, I think. It's just, it's a fun read. You can buy a magazine bundle where you just create your own bundle which is what I often do every year when I remember it. You can buy the collection issues one through six. You can also buy issues seven through 12. Obviously over time, they have improved the quality of the magazines. They get better and better. <laughs> Ran out of battery. So books, they have history is inventive, history is delicious, and history is rich. We have their podcast, which they just came out recently called Anytime Now. It's a podcast by Honest History. We haven't listened to it yet, but I know it's there and it's available. I should take advantage of it. But like I said, this, this past school year kind of went down the drain with everything that happened in our lives. Whatever. Can't change that fact. So you just make sure that you get to some of the things you wanted to get to the next year. <laughs> so we are studying about U.S. history. So building the White House, Abraham Lincoln's daring escape here. Let's go to their blog. They seem to publish once a week. So five ways to celebrate Earth Day, a guide to anytime now, our podcast for kids, behind the scenes, meet our writers, resources for parents and kids in Australia. So let me click on that. There's links to learn more information about topics that were presented in this issue. We have academic journals for educators and parents. We have more information for us to learn more about it, to go deeper. You know how I love those, those deep dives, those rabbit trails. For the young historians, we have, they have a picture book to read. They have a video, more books. So a lot of great information here that goes along with this issue. And so I wonder if they have that for all the issues or at least, you know, maybe recently they do. Here, resources for researchers, parents and kids, the Ottoman Empire. So that one was issue 18. So definitely, yeah, t definitely take advantage of what other people, <laughs> especially a lot of these resources, these, these his historical resources, maybe even science too. The creators of it have create blog posts and have or create like study guides, you know, share additional information so that you can get deeper into it. So make sure you check out the website. Oh, they have an Honest History app. Let's look at that. Let's get interactive access digital editions of your print magazine purchases on our app or try a monthly digital only subscription. I did not know that. I try to do things digitally and then I realized I like to hold things in my hands. I like to hold books and magazines and notebooks. I try to do the whole digital planning and everything. I, I like writing in a notebook. I like analog. <laughs> 
So a lot of things that I recommend here on YouTube for life in the trenches and on my blog, the homeschool front, are things that we actually use. Like I'm never gonna recommend something we don't use and don't love. Or sometimes we use things and then we don't love it and I'm not gonna recommend that either. Check this next video out and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao. Drama. I forgot to drink this. <laughs>